Hello, everybody. This is your favorite host, DJ Millennium, on 88.2 The Cut. This country is going to hell, people. Straight to hell. Call in. Get on air. Join the Wolf Pack. Wolf Pack, we're on. Our first caller is from a city that is just as magical as the original, Paris, Texas. Caller, you're on. Hey, Millennium. I'm just calling in today because I just got dumped. Ooh, a breakup. Yeah, the, the breakup happened a month ago, and I'm not really sure what to do with myself and why I wasn't good enough. All right, I'm going to stop you right there. I think my listeners know what the first question I'm going to ask is. How many guys did she sleep with before she got to you? I, I, uh, Come on. Don't be shy. I guess if I really think about it, maybe ten? Boom! There we go. See, in this country, we as men put women on pedestals and say things like, Oh my God, she's so kind, she's so caring, she's so this, she's so that, but who are just a bunch of slu- I'm not going to say that on air, but I think you know what I mean. Painted ladies, ladies of the night, hookers, just as bad as hookers. Right. I mean... Look, man, I'm not trying to pull you in the wrong direction. I'm just telling you the truth. I mean, if she had been sleeping with ten other guys, how long was she really going to stay with you? No, I, I know. I, I trust you. I mean, I've been listening to your show for years. That's great. That's great. Yeah, I just, I try to tell the truth and say it how it is. And a truth for you, my friend, that girl you're stuck on, kick her out. Next caller. She goes out with her friends every weekend. That's interesting. My friend has a lizard just like that. I could be tempted with some flat earth talk. No, see, the dragon, he doesn't fly with his wings. He flies in a sort of metaphysical sense. I wouldn't have a following if I didn't know what I was talking about. The evidence is laid out clear, people. Careers are down, trades are down, children are being coddled out of the womb, and the wolf pack is what's going to set people on the right path. Oh, I, I, I guess we have time for one more caller. Uh, caller, you're on. Hello. Uh, Lenny? Hi, yes, this is DJ Millennium. You're on the wolf pack. Right, right. Well, uh, you're our last caller of the night. What can I help you with? <laughs> what haven't you helped me with? Oh, so I assume you're a long-time listener. I do my best. Uh, I do my very best. And I've been trying to be better, a better individual. I try to shape the men of today to be the best men they can be. Yes. Yes. I agree. Well, thanks for calling in. I am done with putting these women on pedestals. Right? Like you said earlier. Right, yeah. So, that's why I do what I do. What do you do? <laughs> Caller, what, what do you do? Hello? Hey, real quick, have you seen my keys anywhere? I think I left it when I left my show earlier. Uh, no, I don't think so, but I did have some advice for you about your show. Uh, I just think our audience might want to hear something a bit heavier, and I think you should incorporate that into your discography. I think my show's fine. Devin. I don't need your advice. I just think people don't really want to hear your indie house pop, and so I think it would really help your numbers. Lenny, do you really want to talk about this more? I'm not listening to you right now. Um... I'm not taking advice from someone like you. Someone like me. You're pathetic. Oh. You have been spouting this alpha male nonsense for months to all these sad and angry men who think that they could treat women like shit when what they really need to do is go to therapy? Do you really think 
that if they knew who you were, that they would take your advice? Go to therapy. And Lenny, you would have never gotten this job if it weren't for your voice. A woman simply is, but a man must become. Masculinity is risky and elusive. To obtain it, one must revolt from woman, and it can only be confirmed by other men. I don't know who said that. Maybe it was Joe Rogan or something, but I just thought you guys would like it. Caller, you're on the air. What do you got for me? Hey, Lenny. Hi. Who am I speaking with? Well, just call me your biggest fan. Is there anyone else in the room with you at the moment? Um. I just wanted to be a combo between me and you. Oh, uh, well, you are on a live broadcast. Answer the question, please. Uh, yeah, my uh, friend and the host from the earlier show. They're in the studio right now. Why? Right. Right. I'm sorry, Lenny. I'm sorry, but do you take me as stupid? Excuse me? The girl isn't with you, is she? I'm going to have to let you go. We listen to you. We do what you say, and you still take your audience for stupid. What? I'm not asking as a creep. I just, I just want to show you what I've done. Set aside a couple minutes for me to show you real quick. What? I, 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 I want to show you. God damn it, Lenny. This is dumb. Why are we fighting like this? Listen, I did what you said about taking my power back, and I helped you too. She's gone. All right, I'm going to have to cut the show there, folks. Thank you for listening. Uh... We'll see I you tomorrow. To thank you. I didn't mean to be sloppy and leave the car there abandoned. Abandoned? You are listening in at 88.2. The cut. Caller. You're on the one.